Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you guys are here. Um, as you can see by the title of this video, it is Harry Potter inspired. And I had a lot of fun filming this for you guys. I thought it would be a really, really fun look to film. Uh, we were in Florida about two weeks ago. We went to the Universal City Walk and I was able to get my first wand. This is Hermione's wand. And I got this cute Gryffindor headband. So yeah, I just thought it would be a lot of fun. Uh, Halloween is coming up soon, so you can always glam up your Harry Potter look if that's what you were gonna be for Halloween. So if you wanna see how I created this, then keep on watching. All right guys, so as you can see, we're just going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, just to primer face. And then you can go in with any foundation you want, but right now my favorite is the Fenty Beauty Foundation, so I'm gonna go in with that with a flat top kabuki brush and of course we're going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to cover up our dark circles And of course, we're setting it with the RCMA No Color Powder. And after that, we are going to go in with the Dark Golden Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC to use for our bronzer with a MAC brush. And we are going to go in with the Ulta blush in the color Sweet Pea. And then we are going to bake um, right underneath where we put the bronzer with the Cody Airspun powder. And of course we're going to fill in our brows with my favorite Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit Cosmetics. And then go over the brows with the Milani Fiber Eyebrow Gel. And then to prime our eyes, we are going to use the Shadow Insurance Eye Primer by Too Faced. Then for the first shade we're going to put on our eye, this is the shade called Pukey by the Morphe in Jaclyn Hill palette. So we're going to take that with a big fluffy brush and just put that all over the eyelid. Then for the next shade, this is the shade called Jax from the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. We're going to put that on the outer corner and then just drag that in um, almost to the middle of our eyelid.
And now we're going to go in with this Morphe palette. This is the Morphe 35U palette. They don't have color um, names on there, but it's like a shimmery dark purple plum color. And I'm just applying that with my finger over that shade Jax, just to bring out the color a little bit more. Then we're just going to blend that out with the same brush we were using to apply Jax. Then in that same Morphe 35U palette, we're going to go in with this really bright yellow shade in here and put that starting at the inner corner of our eye and blending it out over the lid. Then we're just blending those colors together using that same brush. I start off by doing the liner with an LA Girl Black Liquid Liner. And then I do go over it with a gel liner just to make the wing a little bit sharper. Same thing to the other eye. This is the eyeliner from NYX Cosmetics. This is the NYX Glam Liner Aqua Lux, and this is in the color gold. I believe the colors are labeled with numbers, but this is the only gold one that they have. So you're just going to drag that gold color right over the black liner and then underneath the wing as well. And now we're going to apply this Ulta Gel Eyeliner in the shade Golden Egg in our waterline. And then we're going to add a coat of mascara. I'm using the Better Than Sex Mascara. And then for our bottom lashes, I do use a Maybelline mascara that has a really thin applicator for the lower lashes. And then we're going to apply some false lashes. These are the Salon Perfect Lashes, I believe in the number 110. These are just like a natural lash, so we're just going to pop those on our eyes. And now for the lipstick, we're doing a burgundy lip liner. And 
and then we're gonna go in with a burgundy uh, MAC lipstick in the shade Diva. And once you apply that, we're going to get that NYX Glam Liner Aqua Luxe in that gold shade. And we're going to do the Harry Potter scar right on our lip. Believe it or not, this was really, really hard to do before I actually filmed this video. I practiced doing this scar on my lip like about 30 times. But I finally got it. Alright everyone, well that was how I created this Harry Potter inspired makeup look. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to be posting a lot more Halloween ideas coming soon. So yeah, stay tuned and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everybody.